Hi, my name is Emily and I am going to show you how to make a mask according to the new CDC pattern that was put out. Um, I've been making masks for a couple of weeks. Uh, between my daughter and I, we've made almost 190 masks. This is the original pattern that we were using. Um, it's a good pattern. Uh, we've gotten it down, but it does take quite a while to do it. So. I was pointed out, or the, the new pattern was pointed out to me today. This is it. Um, it's a lot easier. It doesn't involve having to turn it inside out. It doesn't involve having to um, sew the elastic in. And it is, it's a good pattern. You can either use elastic or ties. Um, I even made some that tied around the back, but I'm using um, knit material for the ears now on those. So we're going to try it. Uh, first you start off with a piece of material, two pieces of material that are cut to six by ten or six by nine and you have a soft cotton flannel on the, for the inside which you can see there and then a cotton, tightly woven cotton on the outside and you cut them to the same size and then it's pretty easy. What you're going to do is just fold the to the inside so the cotton to the flannel and I do about a half inch so you don't have to lock the stitch down because it's going to be folded in okay so we're gonna just sew this in a straight line down to the other end side my friend uh, who did a video about how to make the t-shirt masks that were no sew said protection over perfection so we're not going for perfection here See that and then see the outside and then I'm gonna fold this in about an, an inch so we want to make sure that when we put I'm using t-shirt material or knit but when we put it in there we want to make sure it's enough room to get it through but also gonna be tight enough that it'll gather easily so now on this I'm gonna go twice I'm gonna go down to the end and then I'm gonna plant my needle and swivel it and go back over it once. And I am gonna reverse so that I can secure my stitch. There we go. So when we initially started sewing masks, we were just gonna do a few for close family and friends, and then all of a sudden, we have actually sewn about 190. And this is making it much faster, so. Here we go. Oh wait, I did not actually go all the way down again. Sorry, I'm gonna go do one more pass on here. So since I cut, I'm gonna actually lock my stitch back in by going in reverse. over here. You can definitely tell that I'm not professional at either sewing or giving tutorials, so sorry about that. Now we'll do this. that's the outside or the inside and that's the outside and I like to just trim the little threads so they're not hanging out now obviously if this were not something we were doing because we're in the middle of a pandemic I would have 
made sure to fold in the ends and made them all pretty edges, I mean, but this is about saving lives, not about pretty edges. So now I have also cut two pieces of t-shirt material. You could use any kind of soft material into eight inch uh, pieces. And I am going to put my safety pin through it. That makes it easier to get through the tunnel. Wait, what is this called? Channel, not tunnel, channel. And I'm gonna pull it through. My dog is enjoying hearing birds or something outside. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. He's scratching for food. He thinks anytime I'm sitting in this room that it means he's supposed to be eating. Okay, so now I've pulled them both through. So now you see that I've got them both pulled through. They don't look like they're very big, but once we scrunch, they will be. And what I'm gonna do next, you can tie the ends if you want into a knot. I would double knot them if you're gonna do that. But I think it's more secure if you sew them. So what I'm gonna do is put them together like this. And very, very precisely. I am gonna go back and forth. River is really enjoying people cutting grass. River step. I'm gonna go back and forth. sewing so precisely and so concerned about how it looks. Not really. Um, my scissors are getting dull. And then I'm just going to shift that in so that it's on the inside. And then this is your earpiece. And then when you put it around your ear, it will be nice and comfy and soft. So I'm gonna do that on the other side. This one's actually for my daughter, so I will try it on and show it to you, or I can have her try it on and show it to me. I don't know how long you've been, if you are staying in, I don't know how long you've been staying in, but um, because I'm immune suppressed, we've been staying in for over four weeks. Today actually is four weeks for my husband and my daughter, four and a half weeks for me. It's going pretty well. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna shift this in. All I'm doing is turning it so it goes in. My daughter is a figure skater, that's why she's gonna have cute little skates. And voila. You can make it tighter if you need to. She'll probably want this a little tighter, but there you go. Can't see I'm smiling. The final step to finishing your mask is to gather the casing and the way to do this is i've done this side already you're gonna pull your casing tight hang on one second there we go you're gonna pull this And then you're just going to sew across to set it in so that it can't slip. I'm doing my own camera work right now. So you do it on both sides. So you see that that side, and I'm gonna pull it tight again. And I'm gonna come back over here. And you go back and forth over it so that you definitely lock in your loop. And now 
you see that instead of it laying flat, it's tight, it's gathered. Great, thanks.